Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Matthew chapter 4 verse 11, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, and 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 10. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Lord God for this word. Thank you for always being there for us and, and caring about our needs in in our feelings and what's going on inside of us god we love you we praise you we thank you god in jesus name we pray amen all right you guys matthew chapter 4 verse 11 then the devil left him and behold angels came and were ministering to him so this is of course christ when he was being um tempted while he was fasting in the wilderness and so um, this is uh, the Holy Spirit. I felt like was speaking to me that um, this represents what a lot of people are going through right now, right? They are they have just gone through a season of chastening. They've just gone through a season of 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 holiness, right? And and it, it, they're going to continue in holiness, but the the process as they have gone through this process of God um pulling stuff off and cutting stuff away and causing things to be removed now they're in uh what they feel like is a weakened state right and so but God is is letting us know he's ministering to us he's speaking to us he's touching us he's healing the wounds any any wounds that that might have been that have been um as we've been fighting and in battle, he's healing those wounds. He's making sure that you are being restored to a, a higher place, right? So you've gone through that season, you've gone through that chastening, you've gone through that that feeling of depriving, right? And 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 you you feel some in some ways weaker than before but God is saying he is restoring us right he is ministering to us he's speaking to us he's pointing to you and telling you who you are he's happy about you he's he's excited it's like you just got done running the marathon and you feel like you're about to pass out but all your friends are full of energy everybody around you is jumping up and down and they're they're hugging you and they're so ready to celebrate and you're just out of breath you feel like you're going to puke or something right but God is letting us know it's okay I got you I'm ministering to you I'm building you up it's it's okay yes you went through harsh battle yes you've been fighting yes it feels like it's not done but you know what it's okay I'm here with you you've gotten to another part of another level right you, you're in another place that that heavy harsh battle that heavy harsh fighting is over yes you may you may experience bouts and battles still but this war that you've been going through god is saying okay i'm moving you on to another phase amen all right and so hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that way we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need um and so you know we are are in this place of of being refreshed, of being comforted, of being water thrown on our face. You know, you've been in the rink and you've been fighting, and and you don't you don't want to just pass out because the fight is over, right? So we need to go and find what we need. We need to go and be restored. We need to go to our Father right now, right? He is saying He wants us to come to Him now, and He wants us to get what we need from him right not from the world not just because you haven't been having the world it's not time to binge on the world now no he's saying now come to me it says let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace so we can come confidently we don't have to be afraid we don't have to say lord uh, don't be scared don't don't be mad at me you know uh, after all of these battles and, and things if you have needs come to him right go to his throne um i told you guys about like the socks and how god was saying don't go buy the socks I, he he has been really like on me about you know purchasing and stuff and then today he said that i could go and get what i needed and i'm just like am i confused what is going on see we have to listen to what the spirit is saying is appropriate now 
right? It's not about yesterday's word. It's what is he telling you to do now? What is he saying now? Right now, the Lord is saying, okay, now come to me and ask me for what you need. Now come to me. And and that's why I'm not surprised at this, this conflation, because this is what I went through today, is, is that now after after such harshness, such depraving, um, a season of, de- of, of depravity, what it felt like depravity, um, a season of, of drawing away, now we're coming back and God is saying, okay, now don't just go back into the world. Come to me come to me and I'm going to give you everything you need. All you who are heavy laden, come to me and I'm going to give you rest, right? He's going to, he's going to take care of you after having fought this battle and gotten through as a conqueror, more than a conqueror. And so it says, let us then with confidence, draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So if you have tripped up on this chastening, if you have fallen short, if if there are things that you still know, you, you're going to need to work on that thing. You know, it's okay come to God now. He's, he has great mercy. He's pouring out his mercy. He's pouring out his grace, meaning he can, he can give you whatever it is that you are in need of. He's going to meet those needs. He's going to satisfy those needs. He's going to show you what to do. He's going to show you how to, to break forth, how to, how to deal and handle with these situations that, that these battles you've been in right now, he's saying he's pouring out this grace. He's pouring out this mercy and it's going to help you in this time of need. All right. And so the third verse that the Lord gave me was first Samuel chapter two, verse 10, the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces against them. He will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Hallelujah. And so this is the prayer of Samuel's mother. I want to say her name was Hannah. Hania, something like that, begin with the H. And so um, you have to go check it. It's the it's actually the title of this section in some Bibles. Um, I know I saw it earlier. And so this is her prayer. You know, this is after she has been through the storm, right? Remember, um, the, her husband's other wife had all these children, right? And she would just poke fun at her and, and you know, just be so ugly, right, towards her. But her husband loved her. And, and he, even though he didn't have any children by her, you know, he loved her and, and he, he still wanted her as his wife and he treated her with love and affection. And so um, this is... Um, after she had sought God, remember she sought God and then, um, she was blessed by the priest after he had first called her drunk, um, for coming to God and, and being and crying and pleading to God for a child. Um, he had at first thought that she was drunk. And so, um, uh, then after after that, um, she was blessed with the child, right? And so she has this child. And after he's weaned, she takes him to the temple to be raised um, in the temple of the Lord. And so as she's dropping the child off, after he has been weaned, he's able to probably walk most likely and do things. And so he's, he's being raised in the temple. And... Um, here she cries out to God and she gives him the praise that is due his name. I say, make sure you go and read first Samuel chapter two. She gives her God some glory, right? She basically talks about how he lifts one. Uh, he, he brings down the proud and he lifts up the lowly, right? It, that is pretty much what she's talking about throughout most of the chapter and how God is a God of justice. God is a God of goodness. And, and it says here in verse 10, the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. It says against them, he will thunder in heaven. Wow. God is thundering in heaven against your adversaries. It says the Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He is about to come forth in greatness and power, you guys. It says he will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. 
God sees your plight. He sees what you're going through in your daily life. He sees the battle that you just got done with. He sees that you were in the ring fighting hard and long and it seemed like it would never end. And he says, you know what? I'm giving you strength. I'm giving you power now. Now I need you to come to me. Now that I need you to to come and get quenched with the water from heaven. I need you to get washed and get cleaned up here. Whatever you need, come to me and I'm going to bless you. I'm going to take care of these enemies. Now that you're stronger, now that you're you're battle hard, now that you're ready to be promoted, I, I'm going to do all those things and I'll, I'm going to help take care of these enemies that have come against you. Have your trust in the Lord. Have your trust in the Lord. He always comes through. He always comes through. And God is doing that right now. He is restoring his, his, his set of part ones. He is making sure everyone that is keeping their eye on him and that has, is living this lifestyle of, of the faith walk, he is making sure that you are being taken care of, right? He is restoring you. He is ministering to you. He is sending angels all around you. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for these scriptures. Thank you for leading us in your word and showing us prophetically what you are trying to say to us in this hour, in this moment, Lord God. We ask you, Jesus, to just touch our hearts, touch our minds, Lord God, touch the hearts and minds of the people that are at war right now who are in the midst of these battles. Lord God, help them to feel your refreshing, help them to feel your ministering angels, help them to feel your presence as they come before the throne to receive their needs of mercy and grace Lord God we know that you see their adversaries you know that you are going to break them to pieces Lord God thunder in heaven for them Lord God we intercede for them right now Lord God we know that you come through for us we intercede for our brothers and our sisters Open up the doors of heaven, heaven, open up the windows of heaven, Lord God, pour your rain out on them, Lord Jesus, strengthen them, give strength to your king, Lord God, exalt the horn of your anointed, Lord God, we know that you are going to judge the ends of the earth, you're going to bring justice, you're going to lift the lowly up, Lord God, you are going to cause those that have the pride and the ugliness and that are causing your children to be crushed we know that you're going to be bringing them down god in the name of jesus send your angelic forces to push the enemy back and 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 cause your your anointed one to be exalted lord god Pour out your spirit on us. Help us to endure. Help us to be braided. Help us to be strong in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path. One of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, Chew on your word and talk to him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So begin to seek his face today while he may be found. Also, one of the things that Christ wanted us to not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God. Um, also, allow Holy Spirit to 
um, show you other other believers to be around as well as where to go and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.